So a quick addendum is that actually I realized that the problem wasn't with the fact that it was rendering as an MP4 versus an MOV, but the problem is that Twitter does not like to upload videos that are not the codec specifically H.264. In order to upload videos straight to Twitter, you have to do actually a little bit more than what I initially thought. You do in fact have to download something else. So I will make a new tutorial after this one to explain how to make videos straight from Reaper to be Twitter ready. Hello, hi, my name is Chell Wong and I'm a composer for video games and I just solved one of the biggest problems that have plagued me my entire career so far. I learned that you can export MP4s from Reaper. And no, you don't need to download anything extra. You don't need to use Handbrake. You just need to do something so, so simple. And believe me, for something so simple, you'd think that there'd be some information out there, but I've done so much looking on the internet. I've scoured forums. I've looked up YouTube. I've looked up so many other things. And there's just no concise, easy answer. They've always said to download something. Turns out it's just so much easier. So in the past, I've had to use Handbrake, which is a program that helps convert video files from one format to another, typically from a WebM or an MOV to an MP4. But I can now bypass this entire, entire process. Seriously. So here I have this old EP that I've been meaning to make YouTube videos for for a long time. I just never got around to it. And it's this cute little song that I have going on. This is just the title theme. And so I want to make a YouTube video of it. I just have a still image in one track and I have a WAV file and another track. So I click Control alt r and it brings up the render window. Right now, I just have the title of the song and then YouTube just as the name. Uh, and I also have it, uh, the output directory to a folder specifically for all of these videos that I'm going to make. Now it should default to a WAV file. Uh, we want this of course to be a video. So we're gonna click the format dropdown and we're going to go down to video FFmpeg. Click that. Go to Format, you'll see a new set of dropdowns. Go to Format from WebM, you're going to click QT slash MOV slash MP4. Now, here's the thing. If you click Render One File, it will default to rendering an MOV. Instead of having to convert MOV to MP4 using a third-party software called Handbrake, we can just skip that step. It's so, so ridiculously simple. All you have to do is go to the file name, type, dot mp4 enter and here you can see that it's dot mp4 but that's the file name right does it actually change the file type it does and we will see that soon okay so now that the video is done rendering we're going to click show in explorer click that i'm going to bring this to this window so you can now see it over here we have the kk title youtube this is the one that we just rendered properties Boom, you can see MP4 right there. You don't need to convert the file and you don't need to change the name after the fact. I've read in many places that you had to change the file name after you've already rendered it from like .mov to .mp4 and it didn't work that way. But if you just render it with the file name .mp4, it just does it and it works. <sighs> so thank you for watching this video tutorial with me. I sure wish I had a tutorial like this years ago. It would have saved me so much time and so much hassle. I sure hope that it helps someone out there now. If you like what I do, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, share it with a friend. I had a problem. I know someone else out there does too. If you want to know more about me and what I do, check out chellwongaudio.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.